This little kitty just came in and you can see he's having a hard time moving his back legs. Aren't you cute little kitty? Yeah, you are. So what we know is that the tail is not working. Uh, he can't move the tail. This is going to seem cruel to you, but I have to know if he, if the nerves running from the spinal cord are working. So I'm going to, I'm going to pinch the toes, and you can see he's actually contracting. So he does feel he has pain perception in his back legs, but he can't move the legs very good. So whatever happened back here to cause damage has made him not be able to move his legs so he has no conscious proprioception which means he can't put his feet where he wants to so anyway um, the tail doesn't work very good and the legs don't work very good so we know that something happened to cause this damage or that it's a birth defect we're going to take an x-ray to see if he, uh, what his spine looks like inside. So we're going to x-ray our little kitty. But we're going to see if it's spine and his pelvis looks okay. kitty laying on his back. And we're x-raying the pelvis to see if it's connected to the spine and if the balls of the femurs are in the socket. And you can see the balls are in the socket. And the hip looks pretty good uh, from this view. But if we, when we look at it from the side, it's another story. Um, if I look at the spine, there are those little squares with spaces, and those all look okay until you get back to where the hips are joined to the spine. Right in there, it looks really jagged, and it looks like there's been some poor trauma or some trauma in this poor kitty's life where he got stepped on or maybe hit by a car or gosh knows what. But anyway, that's why the spine, the back legs aren't working well and the bladder isn't working well. Another thing that we notice, hey, look at how bloated he is. He's a Buddha kitty. So if we press on the bladder, he's not liking it. You see, you see the, the urine running out. So, I know, I know. That's very, that seems cruel, but I had to know if he could pee. If he can pee, that means his urethra is clear. But it means that his nerves to his, his, his bladder is not working. Because so the bladder can't feel itself and contract and know and empty. So because the, his nerves have been this way for a while, then the bladder just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and won't empty. We're going to take an x-ray and see. We know that this type of condition probably can't have surgery and there's really no medical treatment other than nursing, keeping the bladder empty, worming him uh, makes, to make sure he's not bloated from worms. And let's see if time will gradually allow his nerve to start to function again. Looking at the kitty laying on his back again, you can see the big bloated belly and that big distended bladder. Since this little kitty can't go naturally, we're gonna drain out some of the urine with a syringe. So I'm putting a needle into the bladder and then I'll just uh, drain out the fluid. And then as I drain out the urine, what will happen is um, then the bladder will shrink up and maybe he'll be able to, once we take the pressure off, possibly he can go on his own. Well, here's a diagram of the spinal cord and the nerves that go down to the bladder and the legs and you can see the brains on the left and right at S S1 to S3 is where the pelvis is joined up to the spine. That's right where I showed you from the side view that I thought that there could be some jagged areas in the spine like there's been some trauma that happened in the last couple of weeks in that little kitty's life or maybe even the few days before. So if the bladder doesn't work, it doesn't it fills up, it stretches and the muscles thins out and it loses its capacity to even contract. With time, and I've seen time heal up a lot of spinal injuries, the nerves will start to, when the pressure's taken off, the nerves might start to function again, and some of that function to the legs and bladder may return. That's what we're hoping for. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video about a kitty that got some spinal trauma. I don't know if it got stepped on or got hit by a car, 
or something happened to, to cause fractures in that spine. That's what it looks like. Um, there's no surgery. Medical treatment to keep the bladder empty is really the only way we can wait for time to uh, see if it will heal up and let the nervous impulses go through that damage area and back down to the bladder. Um, and also the bladder, once it's empty, will start to be less paralyzed and can function normally again. It's amazing how many times uh, dogs have had back problems and disc problems and I've given them months of, uh, well actually with the owners participating, give good nursing care, how they've come back. Well, I'm not sure what happened to this little kitty. I'll try to give you an update if it's feeling better when I get in next week. Anyway, if you get a chance, check out my new book, Dog Died Answer Book. Um, it's available if you Google it on the internet or you can go to my uh, website, dogdishdiet.com. And they have a couple books there available for you to choose from um, to help feed your dogs a better diet. Have a great day.